So this is the owner, Mary Lee. Mary Lee is going to tell us a little bit about her house. And so what are some things that Rob should know about your house, Mary Lee? Well, it's totally open and bright, even on a very rainy day, which yeah. has proven to be very important in the last couple of months. <laughs> There's lots of windows, high ceilings, so it stays bright. Um, I like it because it's great for entertaining. There's lots of open space, good flow. But if you're here by yourself, it doesn't feel too big. And I'm here often by myself because my husband travels. So um, that's kind of important to me. You know, I don't want to feel lost in a monstrosity. So it's kind of cool. It's got this uh, great room feel, yet some separation for dining and living. Yeah, lots of deck. The deck's out, out in the front. So there's two accesses to that that way. And then there's another one off the master bath. Uh, bed and bath upstairs. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about your kitchen. The, um, the kitchen was custom cabinets and we hired somebody when we got here because like each cabinet just had two shelves. And we're thinking, hello? <laughs> two? <laughs> so I had extra shelves made and then we had, um, we had all of these built-ins made um, and put in. So we pull out drawers on both sides, and um, this was just a big open space, so I had these done to match the silver on the others. So it's things like that. You know, we had, uh, we had these made for the little pull-out, like I like to have my oils and stuff right by where, where I'm cooking. Nice. So we did those, and um, these pull out down here for dishes. These all pull out. That's handy. So everything's very accessible, uh, and there's the, my husband is a big cook, so there's lots and lots of area for that, but there's also lots of storage, as you can see. I mean, I have some off-season stuff up there. That's a good idea. Yeah. And yeah. then a uh, bathroom off of uh, the uh, this kitchen. This is sort of the main power, the power room or whatever, although it does have a shower. Oh, interesting. Because I think they were intending this room to be a fourth bedroom down here for the mother. Gotcha. Her mother-in-law. That's handy. I don't think that shower's ever been used. <laughs> Maybe once uh, by a friend of my son's. So I use this as my office, um, but it could easily be a fourth bedroom. It does have a closet. Mm -hmm. It's not super big, the closet but it's got room for hanging and there's built-in shelves. You're gonna show them my mess? Sure, why not? Yeah, they can see the shelves in there. I don't know if that matters. Oh, perfect, yeah. <laughs> nice. There is so there's shelves. plenty of room in there. And then you can have the view out the back. And you have the view out the back and I can hear the birds tweeting and the sun shining and so that part's a little great. So what is it that you like about this neighborhood? Very quiet. Very, very quiet, and we're so close to everything. It's 15 minutes to Beaverton, it's 15 minutes, it's not even 10 minutes to downtown. Tell me about the recreational opportunities uh, here. Well, right at the end of the street, we dead end into Forest Park. So there's miles and miles and miles of walking trails. Um, I know there are biking trails. I don't think you can start your, on your bike at this trail right here, but a block away you can. Okay. Um, yeah, Washington Park close by. Oh yeah, that's just right across the street. So mm -hmm. you can go right over there and hook into the Arboretum or whatever, but Forest Park is the largest urban park in the United States, so. And then there need. is also um, 23rd. 23rd Street, uh, Nob Hill. which is really kind of a hip shopping restaurant area. Um, Can you show me out back? You bet. Awesome. Um, we built the deck when we okay. got here. It, it, they had a tiny little wooden thing here and then a, just a drop off. Mm -hmm. And it was a mud pit. So we, the wall was already here. There are two retaining walls here. So we built the deck and put in, this is 410 steel. Oh, that's cool. On all these beds. Nice. And we wanted them to rust naturally. Mm -hmm. So we did all the landscaping and all of that. How far back does your property line go? It goes um, kind of to where those taller trees are behind the green brush in front. 
I'm not very good with distance. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I can't see. So there were some issues with the land when he started digging. Yeah, I don't remember what month he started digging, but evidently it, was, it had been very, very wet winter, um, kind of like the one we just had. And so he caused a landslide. I, I wasn't around for this, so I don't know anything about it, but my neighbors have told me about it. But the good news, the good news is uh, there are two massive retaining walls there might even be three. I think someone told me there are two behind the one we can see. But anyway, I know for sure there are two uh, that are here. And everything was inspected by the city and passed. They had geotechnical engineers out here. We've got the reports. We've got all we that We have a fireplace here, so it's a fireplace on both sides. Both sides, and we have a remote control for it. Oh, very nice. It just pops on. That light is interesting on the uh, yeah, these pillar are really here. cool, especially obviously at night when you're entertaining, and they're a lot of fun. It yeah, really sets sort of a uh, nice ambiance. Exactly, and you've got them on several of them around here. I've noticed so. And then there's your office in there, uh, and the entryway to the house as well. Yeah, uh, that's actually my husband's office. He's been very lucky all these years. He'll never call him a nicer one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's go upstairs and see what you okay. got up there. All right, Mary Lee, why don't you show me your master bedroom? Okay, this is the master bedroom. It's big, it's very big. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, uh, we took some furniture out of here actually. And then here's another deck access to outside, which is very nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Oh, listen to the birds. Lots of birds up here. And you can see into downtown Portland from up here. You can, and if the sun is shining correctly, you can see Mount Hood right out there. <laughs> awesome. But it's a little bit too foggy now, or cloudy. Right. But Beautiful. I do have a view. If you're yeah. looking in the right direction, at the right time of day. <laughs> <laughs> now, it feels like a giant tree house, actually, especially in the summer. Yeah, it's, it does have that tree house feel. Yeah. Um, oh, I love the nice. bathroom. This is fantastic. Go ahead. Uh, again, I had this custom wood guy come in and um, put these towel cubbies in and these drawers. There were no drawers or anything. I'm like, where do you put your stuff? Yeah. So, no, this is fantastic. We did that. And a nice walk-in closet. Yeah. And there's a separate toilet down there. Big soaker tub, which is nice. Yeah. Although I've never used it. <laughs> oh, oh we have gosh. a towel warming bar. We put that in. Oh, we got to have the towel warming yes. bar. Yes. Oh, and um, both the floor? kitchen. Yes, I was going to say. The bathroom and the kitchen. Kitchen's heated, heat. too? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Love that. I keep forgetting. The, and shower has the, the body. Oh, oh, things, oh. You know? Yeah. So the sprayers come out on your torso. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. I have uh, two kids in their 20s and they filled it up with people. Like, it, it can hold a lot of people if you want it to. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a great little uh, TV room. Yeah, this is like our media TV room, whatever you want to call it. With the French doors. Yes. And we don't have any, we don't have any TV in the living room down there, so. Um. And here's, you know, another view of Mount Hood when the weather's cooperating. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot Excuse into me. downtown. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing that's so great about this. I mean, you're like five minutes from, not even from five, from downtown. Well, it depends on Burnside, really. Yeah. So, but you're right, five minutes. And I thought I would have heard Burnside up here, but I don't. You don't. It's very quiet. Yeah. And there's, I think there's enough homes and trees and stuff that muffle all the noise. Right. And you know, even with the hospital down there, I have never heard an ambulance Fantastic. siren up here. Never. Awesome. Very so, cool. We put in all the up-down blinds. So I you like can have those. them all the way up or, you know, top down, bottom up, I guess is what they call them. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like it this way because some of the roofs across the way aren't, aren't the best scenery. But this way, like I said, I just feel like I'm in a tree house and I'm not staring at a roof. Yeah. Now, a lot of these homes are older homes that are on this street. They are, although this one right here, this white one that uh -huh. needs painting, yes. they just put on a brand new roof last year and they've done a huge landscape job in the back. So they've been working really hard at renovating and they're, I know they've been working on the inside. So the last to be done probably is the paint job. Right. 
and the house immediately next door to me uh, was built just about six months before ours. Oh, okay. So that's a new house. And the house on this side is an older home. It's one of those 60s homes. And it's sold for quite low. It was a quite older woman who had to be put in a home. And her two daughters don't live in Portland and they didn't want to have anything to do with it. So mm -hmm. they just said, put it on low, get rid of it. And the people that bought it told us they were going to start construction in January to go up another level and I think they found foundation problems. Oh. So nothing has happened there, but that will be a brand new house. <laughs> so here's one one room. Oh nice. And it's got its own designated bathroom. Well it's a Jack and Jill shower oh. with the other. But it has a tub and a shower. Nice. And it just had flat mirrors, so I went ahead and put this in because I thought Again, where do you put your stuff? Right. Your stuff? <laughs> so, uh, and this is another room. Nice. Yeah. So we have uh, three, three solid bedrooms, bedrooms the... possibly four. Oh, yeah. Actually, you could call that one downstairs a fourth bedroom. Oh, absolutely. I think that's what they intended it for, their mother-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, tell me a little bit about, so you, tell me a little bit about the previous owner. I don't know much. Or about who may have built this house, or what do you know about this I know, house? I I I built a garage, which is helpful. Three car garage. Nice. I defy anyone to get three cars in there, but. <laughs> uh, this is a. I'll just let you step and peek your head in there if you want to. This is a closet I built when I realized contemporary Oops. kind of meant no storage. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted That's a place funny. for like, you know, Christmas decorations and, and luggage wine. and yeah, my <laughs> husband keeps the wine in there and nice. nothing fancy, but yeah. this was just all nothing, you know, yeah. was, just a dead it space was under that the house. Yeah, you decided to use do it with slab something behind that wall, which is part of a retaining wall. Oh wait, I didn't glue that on. And then um, I'm sorry, my car is in here. Normally it wouldn't be. Oh no so. worries. Of if you want to go, I don't know if you want to see the furnace and all that. What is that? This, this is a big bonus room. Wow, this is great. Yeah. So there's running water down here. There's a sink that they put in here. I did think about converting this to um, to another bedroom. But like if you had like a teenager yeah. or something, I think you could put a toilet in pretty easily because there is water. And this is a big room. So you could pick off a little bit of this room to add a shower and it would still be a big bedroom. Turn it into a wine cellar or? Well, it could be an exercise room. An easily. exercise room You're would be fantastic. Uh, I've been using it sort of as a craft art room plus storage, as you can see. Right. Um, nice big um, electrical panel. Yeah. And this is all heated and air conditioned along with the house. Awesome. So the house is plumbed for central vac, but I never put it in because I've had central vac before and I'm not necessarily a fan. Okay. I think that hose gets heavy to carry around. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. Uh, it's also all set up for an alarm system, but my husband and I never got around to doing an alarm either. That's, that's kind of what the neighborhood is like. You don't We're really need an alarm. from downtown. Mm -hmm. It's straight up. At, you're not going to get people who are just wandering around us. No. It's too far to hike. And then you've got the dead end sign out in front, yeah. which kind yeah. of deters people as well, I would think. So, again, there's more storage in here. Oh, my gosh. Um, Look at that. And, you know, the furnace and hot water heater are less than 10 years old. Everything's less than 10 years old. There's an irrigation system. For the yard. Um, Here's the house. Lots of stairs. Keep you in shape. Three car garage. And you can also hear the birds, which is nice. <laughs> 